Hi guys, today's video is on functions and I thought I'd ask Leslie, who's Martin's mum, so Martin's my partner and he helps me with Science of Hazel. His mum was a maths teacher and um, I thought it'd be really nice if she showed us how to do functions. Hi, okay, so today we're going to look at functions. Okay, if all a function is, is a mathematical way of writing something in maths language that you're used to seeing in English. So for example, I might say to you, start with a number and add two. That would be English. If you're going to write it in maths language, you would say, okay, start with a number, and as ever in maths, you use X to denote some sort of random number. I want to tell you to add two to it, so I'm going to say, add two, and out the other end will come the answer, x plus 2. Now this little box, this machine box which is telling you what to do is the function and I'm going to call it my function f. So my function is saying start with x, add 2 and x plus 2 will come out the other end. The same thing can be written as my function f starts with x and ends up with x plus 2. So effectively it's missing out that machine box. Or f of x is x plus 2. In other words, I'm going to start with x, do my function f on it, and out the other end will come the value x plus 2. So as an example, number 5, then here you would start with 5, you would be told to add 2, and out the other end would come 7. Here, your function f is telling you to add 2, so if you start with 5, out the other end is 5 plus 2, which is 7. And here, this way it's saying, right, I'm starting with 5, I'm going to do my function f, which is the function add 2, so out the other end comes 5 plus 2, which is 7. So whichever way it's written, it's all telling you, okay, I've defined my function f to be the function add 2, and whatever number you input, you add 2 to it. Now, the function that I have called f doesn't have to be add 2. So depending on the context of the question, you can use different letters or the letters can stand for different functions. So, for example, I might say to you, my function, which I'm going to call g, I'm going to write as g of x equals 2x plus 3. So that's math speak. In English, it says start with a number, which I am denoting by x. And out the other end comes two times x plus three. So that's a very shorthand way of saying in math speak what you're saying in English here. So for example, if you put the number three in and out the other end you get 2 times 3 plus 3, which is 6 plus 3, which is 9. So before we go on any further with this, let's just look at a harder example using this sort of notation. So I'm going to define a function, and I'm going to call my function h, and I'm going to say this function h, start with a number, and you're going to multiply that number by 3, then add 1, and then divide by 2. So if you wanted that as a machine, my function h is saying start with a number, multiply that value by 3, add 1 to what you've got, divide by 2, and out the other end will come the value of 3x plus 1 divided by 2. So if I put in the number 7, I will get out... 3 times 7 plus 1, all divided by 2, so that's 21 plus 1, all divided by 2, 22 divided by 2, which has 11. Now, associated with functions, there are some technical words that you need to be aware of. The numbers that you start with are called the domain. Now, to help you remember that, I think domain is French for house. So your house is where you start. 
the number that comes out the other end is called the range. And a range is when you explore and go out further. So the domain is where you start and the range is where you finish. Okay, so an example of using the, do the words domain and range would be something like my function, which I'm going to call f again, but it's going to be a different function because it's a different question. So this function, f of x, is 2x plus 1. In other words, whatever number I start with, I'm going to multiply that number by 2 and then add 1. And I'm going to say that the numbers I want you to start with, so this function has domain 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now that's saying you have to start with the number 1, put it into your machine and find out what comes at the other end. Then you put in the number 2, put it into your machine, find out what comes at the other end. So these are the numbers that you start with. To find the range, start with each of these numbers in turn. So I'm going to put the number 1 in. Out the other end will come 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. Then I'm going to put the number 2 in. Out the other end will come 2 times 2 plus 1, which is 5. Then I'm going to put the number 3 in. Out the other end will come 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 7. Then I'm going to put the number 4 in. Out the other end will come 2 times 4 plus 1, which is 9. So the range is 3, 5, 7, 9.